texture there. As if the sun wasn't shining, there would be no texture. I'm standing here and I'm looking at the slat, fence slats, and watching the sun come through it. You can see that spider web right in front of me too. And uh, as the sun hits the spider web and then hits the smoke, it creates that texture, those photons bouncing off of the smoke particles off of the web. It's just another one of those things that really gets me, I guess. You see the texture of the air. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm endlessly fascinated by ultraviolet light and uh, infrared light and how they affect uh, the environment and how we can't see them, yet they exist. And they, uh, for example, using, uh, using glass, a piece of glass, or a piece of plastic. Let's say you use a piece of clear glass, you build a greenhouse and you stand under it, it still feels like the same sun, but the UV light is almost completely eliminated when, with the use of glass. I think actually a lot of growers might want to know this. Um, most of the UV light is destroyed by glass, and the thicker the glass you have, obviously, much glass today is trying to filter out UV light, but if you're growing your plants under there, they'll do just fine under sunlight, but uh, certain plants need ultraviolet light in order to uh, produce, for example, cannabis has a particular chemical in it which reacts to ultraviolet light and it produces a compound which converts to THC eventually, and the theory is that the more UV light, the more THC, and a lot of growers add UV lights to their gardens indoors. But outdoors, a lot of greenhouse growers don't know any better, and uh, they don't realize <laughs> the effect that invisible light has on plants, and uh, I'm just glad we can only see in the visible spectrum we can see in, I guess, because <laughs> things would be a lot more confusing if we could see them all. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great day.